now it is time to start start the Call of Duty World at War campaign. Probably my favorite. It's either this or uh, hmm, Call of Duty 4 or Black Ops 1. <laughs> Are we just going to jump right into it? Hmm, hmm. Veteran. Yeah, yeah, let me click that. <laughs> I won't click that. Anyway, I know about these silly guys, and I know about those silly guys. I know about that silly guy. Who's messaging me? The fuck is this? <laughs> Yeah, I remember when Call of Duty used real footage for their real wars. You know, unlike that one. What's that one game called? Vanguard? Yeah, that, that game. <laughs> I wonder why they don't do World War II games no more. Probably because they don't know how to do them. Anyway, here's me, Mr. Miller. Well, I don't think ever shows up ever again in anything. <laughs> <clears throat> trees in a small Japanese military base. Miller's reconnaissance uh, team landed there almost a week ago. I do know though, as even though everybody praises this game for its historical accuracy, uh, it does get a lot of stuff wrong <laughs> from what I've been told. Uh, including some dates on how things get to where they are. But you know, it's alright. <laughs> This game came out like ancient times. Anyway, Semper 5. Also, I gotta say, oh, hello Tokyo without a head. I gotta say, I think it's absurd that you, even though you play Private Miller and he's a private throughout the entire game, despite all of this shit he does, I don't understand how that happens. Do you know Private Pile? I don't think he does. Right, I'm confused. Alright, which way, Western Man? Garand or Type 100? I'm going Type 100. The Garand, I don't really like this game much. It feels kind of. Eh. This is, lacks a lot of power for me. Anyway, I'm already getting shot at with shit I can't see. I, was, I do love the other Thompson it feels in this game and the Type 100. This game is great as SMGs. What am I hitting that's causing that much blood? Or am I getting hit? But there was no... whatever. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder what these guys can be doing. Let me just... throw that there. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> they kill at least... No, I didn't kill any of them. <laughs> I think you could shoot them. I guess a grenade doesn't... Here's this epic. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Let's do this epic ass animation on a stab of barrel. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, I thought we were gonna wait for the thing to blow up, but whatever. I don't care. Going in. I don't think I don't know this level, like the back of my hand. Oh yeah. I already finished the first level. I know what I'm doing fairly well. Mostly. This, like, half empty Nambu, well, partially empty Nambu, and, like, nobody to shoot at. 
Oh, now the now the Japanese show up, and I can't I can't look over there. Oh wait, hold on. Nope. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, See, I don't even remember the last time I actually went with those guys, like ever, and I didn't just do this. Just give me the ray gun already, come on. Yeah, you'd think that'd be something, but in reality all they did was just just some unused Japanese voice lines they just put in reverse. That's literally it. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, luckily, unlike Call of Duty, unlike any of those Modern Warfare games from the original trilogy, all you gotta do is bang, you know, a little bit more blood on the impact. Oh god. That's a grenade. Oh wait. There we go. Of course, the best part is that the ray gun takes out that ta the tank so easily. Literally two shot. And then the mission's over. Yeah, I don't know what to do. You know, Sergeant Sullivan, who I know so well. Oh no, Takio, how could you do this? <laughs> oh shit. Getting dragged off the <laughs> lot of Let's kill them. We regroup with the fifth when we're through the swamp. Stay sharp. Poor bastard must have been shot down this morning. Fuselage is still smoking. Check the survivors. Hmm, I wonder. He's all snarled up on something. <laughs> when he is, stop randomly touching shit. In, J in, in Japanese occupied territory without without double checking it. This, this has happened a few times now. Oh me, already on the move. Don't worry, I got the World War 1911. Totally the best version of this. Oh shit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Um, erm, um, that just happened. Alright, Private Grant, you get in there. Now, this should be really easy. You're already pretty close. You don't need to be that much closer. Alright. Listen, they don't even know I'm here. See, I'll even take one out for you. Go get him, Private Grant. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. <laughs> you couldn't just... Oh, I don't know. Move around like this. Whatever. <laughs> oh well, flame throw for me. Not for the. I think this game still is probably the best flamethrower in terms of like realism and satisfaction of just burning people alive. I don't feel like I feel like Call of Duty's never gotten the flamethrower as correct as this game. Not even in like Cabo War Two. Oh look, I'm in Nocturne on Tot. <laughs> Version number like, uh, I guess one. This is a lot. This funny ass bunkers and everything. Hence why I call it the funny bunker. Except this is Japanese. You know, there's this version in the campaign, there's a multiplayer version, and then there's the uh, zombies, of course. Man, I remember when I first played this. First of all, 
I don't know why, I have this distinct memory that a crow takes a bite out of you. It never does, but I, I for some reason distinctly remember that. It never happens. <laughs> and and two, it took me like two minutes to realize before I could move. I'm like, I don't think I want to. <laughs> I think I'm good. Oh, hello, Reznov. Hmm. Oh, would you look at that? Rektoff with a black coat. <laughs> that's, that's literally who he is. Also, I do not believe. I, I'm pretty sure he was not a real guy. I This is probably my favorite sniping level in Call of Duty. I know a lot of people would say, oh, Gilly Dove, but this one is. This one's really fucking good. <laughs> So there's an achievement in which you only use one clip to take out all these guys. I just, I can never do it. I can take out these two. Um, take out these two. And then, oh god, I think you have to wait a long time for these two to line up. I don't know. Maybe I just don't have the patience. I know. Please move near him. Oh wait. Oh wait, is this my chance? Oh, oh no, it wasn't. <laughs> Damn it. Holy shit, I just got it. <laughs> I got the talk. Oh my god, hell yeah. <laughs> oh god. It's too late already for the one thing I wanted to do. Exploding the fuel tank will incinerate anyone standing in the way. Like that? Oh, that was another thing I know I need to do. Hold on. No, that ain't gonna work. I'll just shoot him normally. Come on. I'm... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I mean, I did it the easiest way I could, but still. I think what's nice, though, about the no-scope thing is that I figured that out entirely on my own. <laughs> I was unaware that Easter egg until I was just happy to be playing this game. I'm gonna die. I've already heard the die sound. I'm hearing it as that dog bounces on. <laughs> What the fuck? I was fully hell. <laughs> Am I having a hard time? Was I not at full hell? Oh yes, yeah, this. I'm having such a hard time. Wait, what? Rizla, what are you talking about? I don't know we're here. I mean, that guy might. No, he doesn't. <laughs> what did I do? I'm just standing up just like you. I guess that guy's shooting at me. Yeah, <laughs> got him. His bodyguard just happens to die at the same time. <laughs> Found that really funny. So let's go, because I know what happens. Now, I don't ever know how this happens, how we get captured in the first place. It's just a massive time skip in which I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Because you ain't allowed to touch that. Uh, I forget. If I kill them, do they? I don't remember. 
because there's different endings spending only you do a turn off but i can never ever avoid the one where he's just like i don't understand this man he just does whatever he feels like him <laughs> i don't know what to get like him either being like yeah i'm a or uh Petrenko is a true monster or uh he's actually like a, a, a hero i still think this game is the best score out of them all it's either really cartoony, you have to pay for it, like 2019, or um, or it's just like, oh, Vanguard had really decent gore, actually, but the problem was it was just super inconsistent, the trigger. Like, it just made no sense on how to trigger it, ever. Oh, God! <laughs> Grenade. Here, have a molly. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything behind this barn door. <laughs> I gonna only wonder if there's anybody behind this barn door. <laughs> My compass surely wouldn't tell me that. Like, look at this shit. It's not too over the top. Is realistic enough. Maybe a little bit more blood, but you know, uh, like I said, for 2008, pretty good. Resume the game. Anyway, small grenade. Oh, <laughs> bro, <laughs> you good, buddy? Just took a machine gun around to that. It's the Mohawk. Oh shit! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> this is the combination of the sound. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. What are you, what are you still hiding for? Obviously, I see you. And here. What are we shooting at? This guy? You can take him out? Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's not dead yet. Alright, give him a sec. Okay, come on. Oh, he's shooting at me now, I think. I'll just... <laughs> Call of Duty AI at its finest. Oh shit, <laughs> that's right. I'm trying to remember all my driving controls. Yes, indeed. Oh, this is probably the best tank mission in Call of Duty. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, I can't even remember them all off the top of my head. There was a lot of them in the older games. I don't think those are as good as this one though. No Call of Duty Ghosts had one, which your tank is like, does not not really operate like a tank, but more like a fast car with a gun on it. But... <laughs> like, oh my god, it takes time, Reslov, you, you don't scream it, <laughs> just because we ain't there yet, this is a fucking tank. It ain't a sports car. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I, I do like how it also seems to have somewhat kind of realistic tank tank armor, which I you can't just shoot them two shot up in the same area over and over, depending on which tank it is, which is pretty nice. Okay, Rez, <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? What do you think this is? Oh, the radio tower? Maybe. That was really meaty. That radio tower is not going down. God, you could do that level really quickly. Oh yeah, I forgot about Nikolai. There he is. He was in there, land there, the blood, but yeah.
Wait a minute. There's two of them. <laughs> They're two Nikolais. <laughs> two Chernovs. Or maybe one's Nikolai and the other's Chernov. I don't know. I'm starting to get the feeling we aren't so good ourselves. Nah. <laughs> Jero, why would you ask that as the tank's driving its way towards the wall? Oh look, he's Varukt. Oh, I'm out. Oh, well, it's good. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. The tank. Unaware of that tank. Oh, my God. I'm back. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, now, now it's operating well. There we go. I know exactly what to do with these these guys in the radio. I'm pretty sure they're typing in like coded message, something about like Treyarch is better than IW <laughs> in code. Yeah, save this guy at least. Is that guy gonna actually die? I don't even think there's an achievement for saving him. I could be wrong. Oh, he just died immediately. Oh. That is ammo. What are you shooting at? <laughs> uh, he, he knows he knows where they are from the wall. Man, yeah, I remember when I first played this. For some reason I just wandered through the smoke. No idea where I was. <laughs> All I had to do was just go around here. Mm. Well, we commit war crimes. Everybody's seen that, though. Why am I throwing Molotovs, eh? <laughs> oh, it doesn't do shit. <laughs> Black cats. Proud. Mm. Honestly, I like this mission better than a lot of the AC-130 missions. It's a little bit more intense. Albeit not as realistic. Boy, it's really fun. <laughs> Honestly though, this would be really fun co-op. It would probably be a lot harder to do, but th this would have been pretty fun co-op. At least with two players. Four player, I can see how it might not work. Oh, get in! Oh my god. It is just so much more intense than the uh, the AC-130 levels ever really were. Oh god. Oh! <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh my lord. What is it? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate this level so much. This is probably my least favorite level of the game. At least it gives you good weapons for this. That's all it's got. Could you have a knife? <laughs> what? Sure. Alright, 
Here's how you deal with this. All these gentlemen in here. Coco grenade, pretty good. <laughs> it goes a little better than that. Now this part. I gonna be on this section for like 30 minutes. <laughs> this gives the unlimited respawns. I'm just like, hmm. How do I move up? There's like zero cover to. Now, there's plenty of cover to. Just, that just wasn't very bright. <laughs> so when you're younger, it makes these levels feel like an actual fucking campaign. You feel like you're embarking on an actual military campaign because how long they are for when you don't know what to do. And you're not very good. Like, oh my god, this is, this is taking me forever. Just how many bad guys are there? It's like, oh yeah, no, this is a little bit respawning. Hello. Orders, but man, they've. <laughs> so fun just to throw these. Here we go. Give me that. Just tap them on the bottom and just throw them. And it's just. It's like playing Modern Warfare 2, the original. And it just blows up whole pieces of buildings. There's unlimited of them, you just keep throwing them. It's so fun. Are we at this again? Where is he going? <laughs> okay. It's unironically like random chance with the AI. It's so funny. Do you really trust them? Do you really trust them? No! Dempsey, no! <laughs> Not Dempsey! I'll use your garage and your honor, Dempsey. Everything that was asked of us, we've done. Every night we lay in a filthy foxhole, praying the enemy won't slit our throats. No, not Dempsey. Crawling through the mud and the dirt, our bullets whistle all around. This is the enemy's last stand. When we take Shuri Castle, we go home. All of us. Once again, it is still also funny how Petrenko is still private throughout all of this for like three years. Just never levels up. It never ranks up somehow. Poor Chernov. I mean Nikolai. I mean, he survived pretty long. Okay, Razov, he has proven that he does not lack the stomach. He has still killed people. He's here with us and he is shooting people. He just doesn't want to commit war crimes. Hmm, it's almost as if Reznov's actually a, a villain. It's almost as if he's a piece of shit. Have fun with this PTRS 41 here. Because I would just not understand. Oh, move up. Thank you, AI, for throwing that grenade back. I was taking so many rounds. Oh no. Alright, let's see what I get for Chernov. What does he think of me? This is Mr. Dmitry Pretenko. Damn it! I do not understand. I always get this one. Heroes need not question their action. I always get this one. I can never get it where he's just like, I'm either a piece of shit or I'm a complete hero. 
Oh, I, I'm always in the middle. Uh, this is like flamethrower troop. Yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, that's the last guy I need to roll up on. <laughs> Just gonna stick it somehow in that same bag, even though it's got no sharp edge. As long as you live, the heart of this army can never be broken. Things will change. As heroes, we will return to battle. Oh, Reznov. You're kind of wrong. <laughs> you don't feel good. Cool. <clears throat> now I, you know, I don't think I've ever done World of War a solid run like that, just all the way through in one day. I say, still one of my favorite Call of Duties. Um, I do definitely notice a little bit of jank as it gets older. I get stuck on things a lot. Um, yeah, the grenades just kind of randomly appearing on you as you're reloading behind covers. Pretty absurd. <laughs> Um, other than that, I really have nothing else left to say about how amazing this game is, in terms of, uh, well, this whole thing. Like, I like most of the levels are my favorite, they're pretty, really good. Hmm, Rezov, you know, when I was a kid, I was like, you know what, this, this, this guy, he knows what's up. And now I'm like, you know, you know he's just a war criminal. <laughs> Which is interesting, because I'm not the only one who thought that, thought, oh yeah, Reznov, totally the hero. Totally the guy you should root for. All of a sudden, what, what is that? Hmm, what, what are those figures out in the distance? What could that be? Is that a... Wait a minute. Oh my god, it's a... It's a zombie. Wait a minute. A Nazi zombie! <laughs> I'll play this for as long as I can survive and then I'll uh, wrap this up.